Hello YouTube, hello friends and people in virtual world, welcome back to Baggy's TMD uh, and welcome to a uh, model railway review. Um, while I was at Wally, you probably saw in the previous video, uh, I picked up a Hatton's Beal Hack Snowplow. The uh, Snowplow X-Class 40 ZZA uh, Network Rail Snowplow in black. Let's have a look at this. Sorry if, the vid sorry if the video's a bit jumpy. I'm still really getting used to my new phone, trying to video. It's a bit uh, jerky. It keeps, all keeps trying to autofocus. I haven't quite worked out yet how to turn the autofocus off on it. So I apologise if it's a bit uh, a bit jumpy around. Right, here is the snowplow. Um, it is very nice. It's a very nice looking, very nice looking model, this is. Let's put it like that. There we go. It's a very nice looking model. Um, quite weighty as well. It looks like it'll be uh, quite light, but there's there's quite some quite some weight to it. It's all metal chassis. Obviously, like I say X Class Forty bogies, um, sprung buffers on it, big chunky buffers. But I say the wealth of detail in it is amazing. The only one criticism is the, the plow. Let's get it up there. It looks a little plasticky. Obviously, it is plastic, but it just looks a little bit plasticky. So we're a bit of a weather. It'll be quite all right, but I say it's all plastic. This is a massive, great lump of metal. This is so uh, it's got some heft and weight to it. Nice detail there with the air tank in there. Um, I'm thinking about uh, putting some uh, lights on this as well. So possibility we're going to put some wipers on one of these wheels. But yeah, it is. Let's get you in nice and close. There we go. It is. Oh, little autofocus. It is a nice looking model. It is. Uh, all the detail data panels. I say it's a Hatton's, one of the Hatton's uh, plows. Uh, they do a fair few different um, uh, numbers, regions, whatever, different eras. That's the word I was after, eras. So we've got one here on the side, uh, one painted up in yellow. Imagine that's for uh, the earlier days. But yeah, there is the Hatton snow plow. Obviously, NEM coupling on the back. Possibility we're going to go for um, see if we can put a proper screw link coupling on. So we've got a couple of class 66s that have got screw link couplings on. Let's take a little look now at some video I shot last night of uh, this running around with a class 37. Nigel, once we've got all the base, the thing, video yard boards done, we can take them out so Nigel can get under and do all the wires and stuff he wants to do. Mm. While we concentrate on the top. Right, so you just saw a bit of footage there, be running it around our club layout. Thought I'd bring the camera in a little bit closer just so you could have a bit of a a closer look at it. It is a very nice model. This is nice. Um, they are, I don't know if they're metal or plastic, but very fine handrails. Uh, it's just a really nice model. Well done, Hatton's on this one. Like I say I picked up two two different running numbers. I think there's four different numbers for the network rail plows. But yeah, top top quality um, model. That is. Like I say I think I've said it in my previous videos. It's nice to see some of the uh, smaller, so to speak. Companies such as Hattons, Cavalier, Secura Scale, Rapido as well, if you can class them as little, coming and having a play uh, in the British market. But yeah, don't you like that little review there of the Beal Hack Snowplow from Hattons? Very nice model there. I'll see you later, guys.